how to scale a specific part of an object to a specific size in Adobe Illustrator. So first I'm going to show you this trick and then I'm going to show you a use case that makes this trick really, really useful. So to get the most value from this video, stick around for the use case. Okay, so here we have an imperfect plus sign that I created just for this example. And let's say I want the right side of the plus sign to be exactly 200 pixels wide. So if we don't know this trick I'm about to show you, this is actually really, really hard to do. But with this trick, it's going to be really easy. So what you want to do is select the rectangle tool then go down to this anchor point right here, which is the beginning of the right side of the plus. Then click and drag the rectangle all the way to the anchor point right here, which is the end of the part of the plus sign that we want to scale. Then simply drag down the rectangle a little bit. The exact amount for the height doesn't matter. So the important part when drawing this rectangle is that one side of this rectangle matches whatever you are trying to scale to a specific amount. For this example, the width of this rectangle matches the width of this part of the plus sign that I'm trying to scale. So now simply go to the selection tool, select the plus and the rectangle you just made, then right click and click make clipping mask. So now we have a clipping mask of the plus sign and the clipping mask is actually containing the entire plus sign. It just only shows the part of the plus sign that is within this rectangle that we drew. And the rest of the plus sign is simply hidden but it does still exist. But because this clipping mask is a simple rectangle, we can now measure and scale the entire length of this rectangle. So now with the clipping mask selected, we can go to width and simply type in 200 pixels and click OK. Then go down to the clipping mask, right click it and click release clipping mask. So now the plus is revealed and we can see our clipping mask is 200 pixels wide as well as the part of the plus that we wanted to scale. And the rest of the plus has simply scaled along with it so it keeps the proportions, which is the part that is hard to achieve without this trick. So now we can simply delete this rectangle right here, we don't need it anymore and the plus sign is scaled as we want it to. Okay, so now you might be thinking, where am I ever going to use this trick? So let me give you a real life use case where I use this trick myself. So here we have a simple image of the brand new Twitter X logo. And last week I was doing a tutorial on how to recreate this Twitter X logo. And to make it easier to figure out the measurements and the proportions of the logo, I wanted to rescale the height of the X to be exactly 500 pixels tall. And because this is a simple image that I downloaded from Twitter, I can't just scale the X logo individually. I need to scale this entire black box right here. This makes it really hard to scale this white X to exactly 500 pixels. So here I simply use the trick that I just showed you. So first let's zoom in to the X. Then select the rectangle tool, go to the top of the white X and line up the cursor exactly to the top. Then click one time and drag the cursor to the bottom. Now let's line up the bottom of the rectangle to the bottom of the white X. So now this rectangle that I just made has the same exact height as the Twitter logo. Now we need to go to the selection tool, select the image of the X and the rectangle we just made, right click and click make clipping mask. And this makes it possible to resize the X exactly the way I want to. So I simply need to go to the top of the screen, make sure this link is on to keep the proportions, which is very important. And then I simply go to the height, type in 500 pixels and click OK. Then go back to the clipping mask, right click and click release clipping mask. And now if I select the clipping mask rectangle, you will see that the rectangle is exactly 500 pixels tall as well as the X logo. And now we can simply delete the clipping mask. So next time you need to scale a specific part of an object to a specific size, you know this trick and it will make your life much easier. If you like this video, consider subscribing or if you want to watch the tutorial on how to create this Twitter X logo, simply click the video on the end card right now. See you in the next one.